Sean Locke. Welcome to TV Heaven Telly Hell, the show that celebrates great television and tuts very loudly at the rest. <laughs> of course, telly these days is all about formats, and I've come up with a great new one. It's me driving around the country in a vintage car with Paris Hilton. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but she's in the boot. <laughs> We go to different zoos where I have to make an animal laugh. It's called laugh along a zoo lock. <laughs> or lock a zoo a laugh a lot. <laughs> or zoo long a laugh a laugh lock lock that. Oh, no. yeah. Best bit is when I pull up at a zoo and I tap on the boot and go, Oi Hilton, we're at Whipsnade, I'll be an hour. <laughs> it's got everything travel, animals, comedy, and a posh bird in the boot. <laughs> and while I'm there, I check the canteen food for bacteria. <laughs> And now, to reveal his TV heaven and telly hell, please welcome my guest, Nick Hancock. This is lovely. Well, thanks for coming on, Nick. Yeah. This, is, this is the show where you get to tell people what you love and hate on television. Do you watch, you watch a lot of television? Oh, I watch an awful lot of television. I mean, uh, when the cricket's on, I'm up from about 4 o'clock in the morning. I can do a straight 16 hours, no problem at all. <laughs> I watch the cricket. Then I'm into, you know, your sort of homes under the hammer, that sort of thing. Uh, cash in the attic, over to Discovery or UK star for Flog It. Back for Bargain Hunt. <laughs> then you've got the 1 o'clock news, <laughs> neighbours, of course, doctors, diagnosis murder, or murder she wrote, depending on how I feel. Then the kids are back, and I'm watching all the kids' programmes, so it's fantastic. I could do the full day, and we've got like a little reclining chair, and I get different meals brought in to me. It's like, it's like being on a transatlantic flight in my house. <laughs> so let's start with, uh, with the, the programme you've chosen. Yeah. It's a programme you, you really don't like. Yeah. Trini and Susanna. Trini and Susanna. <laughs> what, what, what not to wear is the show. What not to wear. Absolutely baffling as to how this can be entertaining television. This is just about two very posh people telling the rest of us where we're going wrong. <laughs> and I don't approve of it at all. It's judgmental, it's nasty, it makes people feel bad about themselves, mm. and there's just too much forelock tugging going But, on. I mean, it's, it's hugely successful. Yeah, yeah, know? absolutely. It's, it's, it's got to the point where, you know, poorly dressed women are queuing up to be humiliated next. Mm. And uh, we've got a clip here from the divorced women's special. Nice touch. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> and it gets, you, it gets you right there. Yeah. <laughs> ben, can you step forward, please? Sarah Ellingworth, can you step forward, please? I'd like to say that you two are about to learn what not to wear. And thank you to the rest of you. Could the others leave the room? Thank you. Now that is fantastic. Yeah. Because basically, you've told five women that they look awful, okay? <laughs> That they are a disgrace, that they will never be happy unless they change, and then within 20 minutes, you've told three of them, off you go, carry yeah. on with your miserable existence. Yes. <laughs> and and, and one part of it is they, they deal with people who have got emotional problems, they've been through long, painful divorces, yeah. and, they, and they actually think they're curing them by going shopping. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I feel like killing myself. Accessorise! <laughs> It's a problem. <laughs> but I wondered whether the three of them were, were actually, the three of them walked off, they looked a bit quite pleased actually. Yeah. I, th I think they, are, they thought, well it obviously doesn't mean I'm as, I'm as pathetic as the researchers said I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you mean they might just about get by looking yeah. how they look. Yeah. But they've obviously picked the two most vulnerable, emotionally exhausted, <laughs> worst dressed they but, yeah, but it's just not a challenge, is it? Giving advice to people who are already deeply depressed and feeling bad about themselves, they're going to do whatever they're told, aren't they? I think they should set themselves slightly more of a challenge. I'd like them to see, to like to see my wife, for instance, is Iranian. I would like them to see them do what not to wear in Iran. <laughs> <You see? laughs> because they find it quite a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> but their method is quite cruel. And, and they get their, let's call them victim, mm. to stare at themselves in a mirror in the, in the clothes that they normally wear. Mm. And it sort of breaks them down. But then you have Trini and Susanna either side of them. And mm. it's a bit like an outtake from The Shining or something. Mm. <laughs> this is all things that are going to help you change you. All right? And you've got to change in there. I'm trying to go forward and I don't like thinking about the past. I think more than many women we've worked with, by chucking these out, it's going to make... it's going to be a very cathartic cleansing process for you. And I do believe... it's like a, you know, dirty, grubby chrysalis. It's going to go, all going to go, and you're going to become a different woman. You're going to become the woman who has been in jail for God knows how many years. You're going to be free. 
something very chilling about the way that they slowly take her clothes off. And, yeah. and they're staring. If you look, they're staring at the mirror. Yeah. And they've got these really dead eyes as if they're going, this is great telly. <laughs> this is great. Break down. Cry more. <laughs> but that's all they really need to do. If they want to encourage people to dress better, all they have to do is pop into various department stores, into the ladies' departments, walk past people who are looking at themselves in the mirror, and just as they go past them in the mirror, they just go... <laughs> yeah. That's it. It's a bit like the army, isn't it? Like Sergeant Majors, isn't it? You horrible little, no, no yeah. good piece of rubbish. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all going to make you into a man. It's a bit like that. Yeah, you know. But it's a posh version. Yeah. And one of them's got tits. Yeah. <laughs> Which one? Trini or Suzanne? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know which they are. It's a bit like Ant and Dick. I don't know which one's which. <laughs> if one of them had a massive forehead, it would help, wouldn't it? <laughs> one of them's got... I mean, it sounds cruel. One of them's got very, very small tits. Actually, <laughs> they look like a couple of coins. You know the charity envelopes? <laughs> yeah. well, they actually, they've got pockets. <laughs> they look, so you know those charity envelopes? Yeah. You've got one coin in. You yeah, know, yeah. And over. They look like that. <laughs> But it is just, it's just cruelty. And also, I mean, on, on a serious point about, about what not to wear, I mean, I was brought up to believe that what was inside was important and mm. all those sort of things. And people do put themselves in through all sorts of trauma, worrying about having to live up to these expectations that they read in magazines. And this programme just encourages that. It actually says, if you want your life to be better, spend more money on clothes. And I just think that's a really divisive mm. thing to say. Well, if you thought Trini and Susanna were bad, yeah. um, you want to watch this show. It's an ITV show. They've taken their idea and gone to whole new levels with it, with, uh, with plastic surgery. It's called Make Me Beautiful, mm -hmm. although I think it should have been called Please Diminish My Ugliness. <laughs> it's official. Most British women dislike their bodies. So, last summer, we offered them the chance of a free total face and body transformation in Los Angeles. 2,000 women applied. I mean, I just want to know what sort of ad they answered. They must have put an advert. Yeah, are said, you ugly? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to stop being ugly? <laughs> Wanted, cock-repelling growlers. <laughs> <laughs> Double baggers. <laughs> yeah, they, they pick three of them, yeah. and then they, they fly them to America, yeah. they give them plastic surgery, mm -hmm. and then they would fly them back home to... Well, to presumably they have to get a new passport for flying back, because they're going <laughs> to look completely different, aren't they? Yeah, well, if, yeah, if it works, yeah. 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 <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. You've enjoyed your holiday, I'll yeah. tell you what. It's done you the world of good. <laughs> well, imagine on the way out as well, when they go to, because in America you go to immigration, they say reason for visit. Yeah. Or they say, like, I'm going to leave a bit of my arse in your country. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's a pretty extreme show. And uh, finally, they parade them in front of their, their friends and family. Yeah. And the thing I, I find a bit disturbing is just how pleased the family are. They're a little bit too <laughs> delighted with the results. 